Servus, herzlich willkommen bei HFV. Heute fliegen wir nach Deutschland für ein Derby in der zweiten Bundesliga. Ich komme aus Ungarn, wie es aus dem Namen des Kanals ziemlich offensichtlich ist. Ich bin ein großer Fan der deutschen Fankultur und die Sprache ist auch nichts Fremdes für mich. Wann war das letzte Mal, als wir in Deutschland waren? Ach stimmt, Januar in Düsseldorf. Am 27. Januar. zwei an dem Tag, fünf Tore mit etwas Ähnlichem würde ich heute auch ganz zufrieden sein. Franken Derby, zweite Bundesliga, sechster Spieltag, zwei Traditionsvereine, erster FC Nürnberg gegen Spielvereinigung führt. Jetzt setze ich aber auf Englisch fort, damit alle auf dem Kanal verstehen können. Welcome to HFV everyone, after the not so short introduction in German, we'll get straight to the point. We are visiting a zweite Bundesliga Derby, round 6 of the competition, Erste FC Nürnberg are taking on Spielvereinigung führt. The zweite Bundesliga has so much more to offer in the 2023-24 season than the Bundesliga itself. So many traditional clubs find themselves in this league is just ahead of the first tier on so many levels, but especially supporter culture, which is all this channel is about. The derby is called Franken Derby. Franken, or in English Franconia, is a region in Germany. And as you see on the map, this region is mostly part of the state or Bundesland Bavaria, or in German Bayern. Call that region Bayern and they'll tell you one thing. Raus. Get out of here. My previous experiences in Germany inspire me to tell you the following. The Franconians differentiate themselves strictly from the Bavarians. It's a different culture. They don't want to have anything in common. So much about local culture and the Derby's name origin. Let's talk a bit about football friendships. They are awesome, but the chain of friendships can lead to interesting conflicts. Nürnberg have a friendship with Swedish side EF Göteborg, IFK Gothenburg in English, EFK Göteborg in German. That Swedish club is really close to my heart and that is actually one of the main reasons I have the possibility to visit this game. A good FCN supporter friend is helping me out and we know each other because of this friendship. Now, FCN have a friendship with Austrian record champions Eschka Rapid Wien as well. And Rapid Wien have sort of a friendship with Swedish side Hamarbu EF. So three steps and we got from EF Koyotaborg to Hamarbu. The two Swedish clubs hate each other. But arguably the most known friendship of Erste FC Nürnberg is a domestic one with FC Schalke 04. A domestic friendship. Some fans are loving it. Others not so much. Some FCN supporters who have enough of this domestic friendship call Schalke by a slightly different name. And that name would already mean in German. A football friendship can be a nice habit, but definitely not everyone's thing. FCN hate their derby rivals Fürth, obviously, but there is another easter egg for you. They also absolutely hate regional giants FC Bayern München, but some FCN supporters still wanted FC Bayern to win the Bundesliga title ahead of Borussia Dortmund end of last season. Do you know why? FC Bayern have 33 Bundesliga titles winning the last 11 consecutively. Oh God. The second most decorated club in terms of Bundesliga titles? You guessed it. Erste FC Nürnberg with nine titles. Borussia Dortmund are third on the list with a total of eight titles. If they have not bottled it on the last match day in May, they would have nine equal to FCN. FCN won their last title in 1968 and it's not too likely, unfortunately, that they'll win another one in the near future. Hated rivals Bayern kept Dortmund away from equalizing with Nürnberg. Time to talk about Fürth a bit. You've probably noticed I called them by the name Spielvereinigung Fürth so far. And not the name you might know them by, which is Greuther Fürth. I have vlogged games of these two before, FCN two times and Fürth once. Check the Germany playlist link below in description. After vlogging Fürth and calling them Greuther Fürth, supporters of the club brought something to my attention. And that was that they don't really like that name despite being the official name of the club. The reason for this is that in 1996, financially struggling Spielvereinigung Vereinigung Fürth merged with third tier side TSV Westenbergs Greut. The owner of the smaller club helped Fürth financially and in return Fürth gave the possibility to his club to be part of the bigger stage. So the name got changed, Greuter got added to it. Supporters distance themselves from this and stick with the original name. Round 6, we are early in the season, neither of these clubs started well, 11th against 13th on the table with 3 points difference. Fürth are clearly better in the last 10 comparison, we'll see how it goes this time in Max Morlock Stadion. Auf geht's nach Deutschland! <laughs> Ich bin sehr traurig, dass du nicht bei den Clubfrauen warst. 
venue Max Morlock Stadion it was opened in 1928 so it's 95 years old it has the running track around so that, that sort of like keeps the fans a bit away from the pitch but it for a derby it's gonna be an excellent atmosphere and it has a pure local and old school vibe capacity of 50,000 people obviously sold out today and the name of the stadium Max Morlock he was a Nuremberg legend and in fact when uh, best Germany won the World Cup in 1954 against my country Hungary 3-2 in a sort of controversial game he scored a goal for Germany the supporters in order to avoid to have a sponsor name of the stadium they collected the money for the naming rights and I think they have this is the last season uh, they have left from that as you saw in the intro this is the most played German derby there were a total of 270 games played total of 140 SFC Nuremberg victories 49 draws and 79 Fürth victories here right next to the stadium there are some sort of little weekend houses and uh, a friend of mine who is obviously connected well uh, amongst SFC Nürnberg supporters uh, has a friend here we're gonna spend some time here before the game it's so beautiful as you see the ladies and the lads are already there SFC Nürnberg flag so the community spirit is absolutely here what an exclusive possibility this really is to uh, kill the time before the game let's go here we are FC How would you describe your love towards SFC Nürnberg? My love came when my dad introduced me to the club, like when I was six or seven years old. It was the first time I was in, in the stadium and that was when my love started to grow for the club. A bit of a controversial question, is it Greuther uh, Fürth or Spielvereinigung uh, Fürth? I don't care, it's like... Um, like you asked me if it's FC Bayern or if it's Bayern Munich, I don't, I don't, I don't care. SFC Nürnberg have uh, quite many friendships. There is even one I didn't mention in my intro actually, which is Brescia. But you also have uh, SK Rapid Wien. You also have uh, AFK Gothenburg, Schalke 04 here in the in Germany. Which is your favorite one, if you have one, or or do you like these friendships? Well, the friendships itself. Um, the only thing I really come uh, close to is Schalke because the other ones, I mean, you, you know the friendship to Rapid Wien, um, the other ones with Gothenburg, I'm not in touch with them. So Schalke is um, common because I have friends in Gelsenkirchen, so um, that's the most common we have, yes. But am I, am I a friend of the friendships? Not really. How do you feel before this huge derby today? Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this, about this derby, I mean, it's pretty huge for, for us, for the club, for the city and yeah, I'm pretty excited and I'm, I'm feeling pretty pretty um, yeah, optimistic about today and I think yeah, we will win today. Yeah. Last season you won at home but lost away and you lost a total of 6 games out of the last 10. Why is that? Yeah, I think maybe it's, it's about too, too much pressure for the players that they're playing for the huge club. Um, yeah, in comparison to first, they are the, the lower club and the small club. And yeah, I mean, it's maybe too much pressure for the players and they maybe, yeah, can't deal with that. But um, I'm pretty op optimistic that we will yeah, get a good result today, yeah. So more pressure than for a usual game? Definitely, definitely, yeah. Was bedeutet der FCN, der Club für euch? Um, einfach, dass man nicht wie der FC Bayern immer gewinnt. Und, sondern dass man sich auch freuen kann, wenn man verliert, äh, wenn man gewinnt. Also alle lieben den Club hier bei uns, unsere ganze Familie fast. Ja, Tradition. Ähm, dass immer die halbe Familie, also die Familie, jeder der Clubfan ist zum Spiel kommt. What do you think about the game today? Score prediction and who will be the goal scorers? Well, I would be, I would be happy to, to get a draw, like one one. But I hope, and that's what I have uh, with my friend today. We talked about it. Um, Ivan Marquez, 82nd minute, one nothing. Um, I think we will, yeah, win two, two zero today. Two goals of Can Usun. Boah, ich schätze jetzt mal so, ja, 3-0 für Nürnberg. Geht's aus? Ich schätze 2-1. Heute 3-0 für den Club, denke ich mal. Hoffe ich. Ich bin Arzt, ich muss hier rein. Es geht, es geht. We are inside Max Morlock Stadion an hour and a half before kickoff to avoid the queues. 2-1 für Nürnberg. 3-1 für den Club. Ich denke 3-1 für den Club. Jawohl. Ich denke 1-0 für den Club. 
2-0. I think it will be a pretty close game. I'm kind of neutral, but um, I think 2-1. Uh, the supporter section so uh, to say that we have the, the perfect place is I think doesn't even describe how good this place is
der Flugkatastrophe in Libyen bitten wir um einen kurzen Moment des Innehaltens und des
first half, he makes it the bottom right from the penalty, 1-1. And the home crowd obviously goes crazy. It's, it's exactly what you expect. What a crazy celebration. Awesome. Let's carry on this way. didn't eat anything since breakfast so I have to, to stay the queues now and um, it's a suitable time to make the halftime summary. Nuremberg started awfully basically. They had literally no potential in this game, uh, this game pressing, this uh, attacking high up the pitch by Fürth worked really really well and uh, after the, the corner standard situation they uh, they got the lead after an accurate header and uh, Nuremberg didn't look like equalizing at all so uh, they had sort of luck with this uh, VR decision. But yeah, there, there, were, there were loads of free kicks from like mid of, of, uh, of the half of the attacking half for both teams, but especially for FCN, but, uh, but they didn't get any danger from that. But eventually the penalty went in and uh, the crazy limbs, the home limbs, which you always want to, to see in a derby. It was time to experience them right before half time. And uh, here we are and can't wait for the second half. Hopefully we're about to see some more goals. Let's go. Before we carry on with the vlog, a short service message. You probably guessed that creating all this content abroad takes up quite much time and money. It wouldn't even be possible without generous supporters offering me a place to stay every now and then. If you have the possibility, please support my work by hitting the thanks button below the video. You can patronize the creation of future HFV videos by that with an amount you choose yourself. Another possibility for this is the channel's Patreon page which you can see on screen and find in the description as well. If you have no intention of sending money to the channel, it's already a huge help. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. I know there are many teenager football supporters watching this channel. In case you're one of them, ignore what I just said about sending cash. Spend it rather on yourself, your friends or buy a new scarf of your favorite team. At your age, I was told to do the same. Thank you very much for your help in advance. Let's carry on with the game. Second half underway by Fjord and uh, their supporters have a quite nice career actually.
Technik. Ihr gefällt damit die Partie euch und auch andere. Vielen Dank. clinch the victory uh, on their home ground this crowd would go mad they, they are already mad from when the team is playing well they are not used to success you have to say really exciting the last minutes remaining I don't actually know at this point how this atmosphere transferred to the screens, but you can't be not addicted to anything like this. Corner. Incredibly close in the 76th minute. Nürnberg could have easily taken the lead.
That's it guys, it uh, finishes 1-1 even though there were at least two, rather three goals uh, in the game. Only the second half, and some of the team now wants again. Frank Adobe finishes with one more. We saw a terrible first half with two goals and an excellent second one where the score unfortunately didn't alter anymore. Neither of the sides are really helped out slash happy with the draw but they both deserved at least a point. The atmosphere was something special and I really don't say this too often. And the visual displays from both sides were, wow, they were the ones who won't forget in a hurry. This documentary video was FCN focused, I didn't really get the chance to capture Fürth voices before the game. Thank you so much for the invitation to my friend and thank you guys for all the interviews. I hope Hope you enjoyed the content if so join me on the channel's social media accounts you can see the possibilities on screen and really important ladies and gentlemen last but not least check out the germany playlist as mentioned in the intro link below in description a warm welcome to the channel if you're new herzlich willkommen and if you're around for a while thank you really much for your constant support i was hfb see you soon tschüss bis zum nächsten mal